lecture I am going to discuss on how to install reporting service in Visual Studio 2022. So first here let's open the Visual Studio 2022. So it's opening Microsoft. So if you want then you can create the project. I am not going to create the project here. Simple open. Or then after first you need to go on this extension manage extension then on it must be uh, connected after that you can see this is the most download of uh, packages and uh, this is your search so this search box you should write reporting service so reporting service you should write now you can see this is the microsoft reporting service project and uh, this is so uh, if you want then you can get the more information about the reporting service or uh, this places and uh, let's close that and this is come from the microsoft and uh, here you need to select this after that click on this download button so now here you can see the file is downloading Now you can see Microsoft Data Tools reporting service that download completed. After that, click on this open file. And uh, let's minimize this one. So now you can see VSIX installer, this string the initial of JSON. And uh, after that, uh, uh, let's see. So this is doing the initialization. Now you can see VSIX installer Visual Studio Enterprise 2022. So it's so uh, it will take uh, if you have uh, using uh, Visual Studio community, so it will take community or others. And after that, you need to click on this install button. So waiting on the flowing process to start before continuing the notification. So it's a uh, service. Uh, this all those things it's uh, it will be a shutdown or uh, if you want then you can click on this end task so task that so uh, ends now you can see installing microsoft reporting service and this is also doing the modification of visual studio enterprise 2022 so now you can see download completed and this is doing the very fine. VX IX installer install complete Microsoft reporting service project has been successfully installed. And you can get this information if that's successful after that. Let's click on this close. Now thereafter let's open the Visual Studio 2022 and uh, thereafter you need to click on this create project and there you need to search here reporting. So reporting server here that's two things comes report server project report server project. So create a new report server project using the wizard and this is wizard without the wizard. So let's select uh, this option then after click on this next and give the project name report employees. Then after uh, let's click on this create button and this is the wizard that opened click on next and the uh, data source that's fine Microsoft if you want then you can connect with any one. So Microsoft SQL Server that's fine click on this edit. Then after here you need to search you need to give a server name local host or your IP address so going to connect with the SQL server so give the username SC and the password then after here you can specify your database so Adam of my database so you can see this is the Adam database and this is tables are there 
after or doing this one the next is click on this test that's fine click on ok then after click on next and this is here for data source uh, credential password okay give the uh, meaningful uh, username and the password for the credential okay after that click on this ok and then after query builder and uh, this is the query builder here so select a start from so selecting a start from employees employees then after here click on this ok so this all or columns of the employees that comes there click on next then you can use the matrix tabular so any of any of these forms so the matrix selected or if you want then you can select the tabular so next then after this is here data uh, this is uh, display field on the heading so employees id that's fine and uh, first name last uh, names or uh, this is here on the columns that i'm giving and then uh, this all that i'm giving go uh, on the or uh, this place okay and after or uh, doing this one or uh, you can okay let's uh, do one thing go back and uh, it's uh, not working right okay remove this one job id and or uh, salary this remove compensation hired it and the and or uh, this that all that I'm going to make that on the details after doing this one click on this next report this is the name if you want then you can change and uh, click on this finish so now here the report that uh, created after that uh, if you want then you can see the so this is uh, here you can see this is the report uh, here that comes and this is the employee id first time last time and this is on the details so let's click on this preview and uh, if i click on this preview so it's uh, 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 loading here now give the password and uh, after that uh, click on this press enter so now you can see this is your report of employees 100 is the employee id this is the name and this is how I did Saturday this all those things if you want to see the others columns so you can uh, click on this so uh, this uh, next page next page and this is here for last page okay and this is uh, for export the report and this is the page setup that's how we can create the report in reporting service on Visual Studio 2022 so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.